Hello friends, this video on mechanical properties of fluids part 32 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos from part 1 to part 31 before going ahead with part 32. So now let us look at what is surface tension. Surface tension is the property of the liquid surface which arises due to the fact that surface molecules have extra energy. So the two terms are very much related, surface energy and surface tension. Surface energy is the extra energy which the molecules of the liquid at the surface have. Surface tension is a property of the liquid surface. It is basically the property of the liquid surface because of the fact that the molecules have extra energy. So because since the molecules have extra energy, there are certain properties which are exhibited by the liquid surface. That one of these properties is surface tension. So surface tension is defined as surface energy per unit area. Surface energy per unit area is what is surface tension. It is denoted by capital S. Now let us look at the mathematical expression for surface tension. How do we define or how do we express surface tension mathematically? Now in order to get or in order to reach to a mathematical expression, let us consider that we have a movable bar and liquid is enclosed in that movable bar. Let us suppose we have a bar like this wherein we have enclosed a liquid. So, Please try to visualize the same because it is not possible to describe this in diagram. You try to visualize that you have a thin bar inside which you have enclosed a liquid. Now this bar is movable. You can slide the bar. Now let us suppose, so what we did, liquid, so here liquid is enclosed in a movable bar. Okay, so what happens, let us suppose a liquid is enclosed in this movable bar and now the slide or the bar is slightly displaced. That means we displace the slide till this point. It is slightly moved. So what happens? Now we say that the slide is moved by some distance say D. So what would be the increase in area? Let us suppose it is moved by distance d. So what would be the increase in area? Let us suppose the length of the slide was l. Therefore the increase in area will be equal to this is the increase in area that is length into breadth that is d into l. Now since liquid has a surface of its own and the bar also, the liquid has two surfaces, right? One on the bar and the other above the bar. Please try to understand this. When you have a film of liquid placed on a bar, that liquid film has certain height which is very very negligible or which is very very small. But here we have to consider that height as well. Whenever we say a liquid film, it has two surfaces. One is the lower surface and the other one is the upper surface. So let us suppose in this case the increase in area would, would be 2 times dl. So what is the work done for this change? So work done for this change would be equal to force into displacement. Right, so the work done for this change is force into displacement. Now we also know that surface energy, according to the definition of surface tension, we know that surface tension is equal to surface energy per unit area. Or we can say that surface energy is equal to surface tension into area. So what would be the area? Area is nothing but 2 into dl because this is the increase in area. Therefore, we can say that this surface energy is nothing but equal to the work done which is associated with this change. So both of these should be equal. Therefore, we can say S into 
2dl that is the surface energy is equal to the work done for this change that is force into displacement. So what is displacement? Displacement is nothing but d. Therefore this d and this d will get cancelled and we get surface tension s is equal to f divided by 2l. So we can say that surface tension is force per unit length. So this is how surface tension is expressed mathematically. So I hope you understood what is surface tension. So what did we study about surface tension? It is the surface energy per unit area of the liquid surface. Also it can be expressed as force per unit length on the liquid surface. So both of these define surface tension. So at any interface, when I say interface, it is basically a line which divides two different media. Let us suppose if this is liquid, some fluid is there. So at this interface, fluid and air interface, where is the surface tension? The surface tension always acts equal and opposite direction and it always acts perpendicular to the line. So the surface tension will always act perpendicular to the line at the interface. Therefore, when there is equal and opposite surface tension acting, then this particular line of interface is said to be in equilibrium. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.